Good evening, YouTube. This is Miss Norma. This is our reading for September the 22nd. It's Sunday evening. Amen. Greetings, everyone, and um, by his grace, peace to your household. Blessing and healing to your lineage. Amen. Let us pray. Abba Father, thank you this evening, Lord, for being able to be here. Thank you for these few moments in time, Lord, and by your grace, may we be strengthened and encouraged, Lord, and reinforce, Lord, whatever adjective would apply to us in affirmations, Abba Father. I ask that you would release it upon us all, Father, just what we need, Lord, individually as well as collectively. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Our reading today is titled, I want you to love me. Amen. I want you to love me, listen to my voice, and hold fast to me, for I am your life. This is the way of wisdom. I am training you to stay close to me as you walk along perilous paths. In any close relationship, listening and loving are vitally important, and they are interconnected. Listen to me as I rejoice over you with gladness and quiet you with my love. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you receive my glorious love in full measure. This will dramatically increase your love for me. Amen. The world is full of dangers, so it is wise, so it is wise to hold tightly to my hand. Listen through my spirit and my word, while I talk you through tough times. Hallelujah. Pour out your heart to me. Remember that I am your refuge. Thank you, Abba Father. As you stay in dialogue with me, I help you handle whatever is before you. Hold fast to me, beloved, for I am your life. Amen. Amen. Our first scripture lesson is Deuteronomy 30 and verse 20, and it reads, Choose life that you may have the love, you may have loved the Lord your, excuse me. Mm. Choose life that you may have loved the Lord your God. Listen to his voice and hold fast to him. For the Lord is your life, our life, family. Amen. And he will give you many years in the land he swore to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 20, and that's the Old Testament. Our next scripture lesson again is from the Old Testament. It's from the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 17. And it reads, The Lord your God in your midst. The mighty one will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you singing. Amen. And lastly, Psalm 62, verse 8. And it says, trust him at all times. O people, pour out your hearts to him. For God is our refuge. Amen. Amen. Again, I want you to love me. That's from the book, Jesus Today. And this is our reading for September the 22nd. I uh, feast upon these words this morning. Um, this was my morning um, devotional with myself and my prayer partner. And um, I'm sharing it out with you. And I hope and pray that the blessing that was given to myself and to my prayer partner that the Lord would grant it to you as well. And you can always ask. Amen. There's nothing wrong with asking God for something good and wonderful to feast upon. Um, and if you don't know how to love him but you want to love him, you could tell him that too. And he'll teach you how to love him. Open your mind as he knocks on the door, family. Let him in. Amen. Abba Father, once more, Lord, I've been here with my 
YouTube family and friends, Lord and Father, I pray, Lord, that all of our hearts continue to be strengthened and that we would draw closer to you. Lord, even when we don't know how, sometimes we just got to throw our hands up and say, I'm tired, or you throw your hands up and say, go ahead. So, Lord, a prayer of go ahead, Lord, reach out to us and keep us all, Abba Father, as only thou can. Give us the joy even in the midst of uh, a burdensome situation, Lord. Help us to see the joy. Help us to feel your presence, Lord. And Father, thank you for the moments that we have to rejoice. A new child, a new grandchild, a new friend, the blessing of a home, um, the blessing of a job, Lord, um, the blessing of restoration and relationships, family relationships, Lord, from reconciliation of, of a husband and a wife, a child and a parent, um, cousins, whatever, Lord, there's strife all around us, Lord, but you're well aware of it. And help us, Lord, to let it go and give it to you and al allow you to grow the joy that each one of us needs. Lord, my prayer, give us joy, show us joy, and help us to eat from the good plate. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, family, for being here this evening. By his grace, I will see you all on tomorrow morning before I get out the door to go drive my bus. Have a blessed evening and a blessed night's rest. And once again, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, or good night, wherever you are in your day. Blessings. And remember that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, loves us, loves us the best and the most and the greatest. And truly, family, there is no love like his. Amen. Good night. This is Miss Norma signing off. I love you. Amen.